Hey guys, Jeff Allen. Welcome to Off the Gridiron. Just taking a quick walk in my uh, back 40 of my campground and uh, I wanted to take a quick break and show you something I, I, uh, I made not too long ago. Now I did have video or footage of this on my channel but I thought I'd share it to you up close. This is my homemade kukri and uh, it's it's certainly something that is is a, the most practical tool uh, I have in my kit. It's not meant to be pretty. This has been well used. No question about it. And there's certainly some things I would change. First of all, a nice lanyard and you're able to tighten up and gives you a nice safety grip on your on your kukri. That's what that's there for. So you can swing it full might and not worry about it coming off. And that just unravels. That's a lot different than some people that have it through through the end. Now this is again another lanyard hole on this side. The wood has had some filings in there just to give it a nice positive grip. Again, I would like to do this in uh, in the future in micarta, but uh, this this ash grip is certainly um, well suited for this knife. On this side, I've epoxied in a copper plumbing cap, and that works well when uh, anytime you're trying to do a, a bow drill, it serves as a permanent socket. You can apply that downward pressure again with the blade edge facing away from you. Uh, other pieces on here, nice 90 degree spine if I was ever to work on a ferro rod. Nice little pointer here, little gouger all. And right in the crux here, I'm working on, I might be adding a, uh, a nail uh, puller and something, something along those lines. Again, this is about a little better than an eighth of an inch, not quite the... Uh, 3 sixteenths I guess and really good all the way down nice flat edge again and it really works to pound in stakes uh, when you're camping and so on and on the point I gotta clean up that point to make it really pointed but it also works well for um, working on any any circles and that would make great uh, short order of a, a hole in the start of a, a fireboard for example <clears throat> Here's the sheath I made all around the outside. This one was all glued and riveted. I didn't worry about stitching, although there's the, the line that I would have followed, but it's quite thick. It's over a half inch thick. <coughs> two, two domes here, well laced and stitched. And this, this allows it to, when I sit down, for example, in a canoe, when I'm walking, this is swinging free. So when I sit down, it's not poking me. It's right out of the way. And again, this is with uh, <coughs> this is screwed shut, the Chicago screw. And again, I did all this on work myself. In the middle here is an extra. Forgot I actually had it there. Is a little small piece of sharpening stone and that presses in there. And the only other addition I would make, um, probably. Probably around here somewhere is attached in that uh, little ferro rod holder so I can have one of those uh, with me. But, uh, anyways, that's the sheath. This is my uh, homemade, homemade kukri. Drops in there like so, snaps over, and again, hangs, uh, hangs free from, uh, from your belt. <clears throat> anyways, wanted to share that with you today, and I hope to be using this on. Uh, the uh, upcoupling uh, show alone. Uh, hopefully all goes well and I, I continue to uh, <clears throat> meet all the mat, uh, casting criteria for that. But whether I do or don't, again, I love making things and this is one of the things I, uh, I made this last, uh, this last winter. Enjoy the outdoors and uh, we'll see you again. So subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, if you'd like, uh, like to hear any gear reviews or learn how to make any number of other traps, bushcraft, survival pieces. Do, do let me know what you want, and I'll be sure to address that for you. Again, Jeff Allen off of Gridiron, signing off. Take care. Enjoy the outdoors.